give me Jeremiah 14 and 2. Read that, please. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Judah of morning. Now we're going to describe how the Jews, you know, there's a set of white people that say that they are Jewish. The ISH, if I say I have a blackish shirt on, you ain't going to believe it's black. You're going to think it's something like black. If I got a blue-ish shirt on, it's not really blue. It's something like blue. So when they say they are Jewish, they're not really Jews. They're just something like Jews. But the Bible just said, read that again. Judah, mourning. It said the Jews would be in mourning. When I look at this sign, the so-called Jews are the Negroes. And I don't know, outside of my other fellow tribal brothers, meaning the Puerto Ricans, the Haitians, Dominicans, etc. I don't know nobody mourning like us. Look in Harlem. Look at all, look at these cities and stuff, excuse me, these businesses in Harlem. That's an example of Judah mourning. Because if you go back 50, 60 years ago, it was black businesses out here. It was black economic. Harlem, no, I don't care where you at, you know 125th Street. Go to Asia, they know 125th Street. Go to South Africa, they know 125th Street. And everybody, when they come to America, wants to come to the Apollo, 125th Street. That's how famous it is. For a black entertainer, you don't make it till you come to New York. The Apollo used to be the one place you had to go to. And if you could survive the Apollo, you could make it anywhere. That's the one place. Not no more. We morning now. We in, we in straight up morning. Nobody think about that. Y'all about to go to Whole Foods. Y'all about to go to Whole Foods, you're going to get you some watch from Cohen's, get you a little Starbucks coffee, and the coffee is delicious. But we make coffee too. Our store can't be there though, because we in mourning. Keep going. And the gates, therefore, of language. It says, in the gates, thereof of language. You know what a gate is? Like, y'all see this thing here? If all y'all was to try to rush and attack me, you would have to get past the gate. So it'll give me a couple seconds before you get up in here. So, <laughs> so if our gates languish, where's our protection? You know who's supposed to be your gate? Your leader's supposed to be your gate. Your leaders are supposed to be preparing you, arming you. I ain't talking about arming you with a weapon. I'm talking about arming you where there's information, where there's knowledge, something that protects you from somebody destroying your gate. Right. Our leaders, let every race come and destroy our gate. All of them destroy. The Asians destroy our gate. The Africans destroy our gate. Whites destroy our gate. There's the Arabs destroy our gate. Everybody destroys our gate because our leaders allow them. You know what your leaders say every time you try to do and build something together? You got to invite everybody in. You know what every other race say when they trying to build themselves together? We not letting nobody in. See the science? They know how to protect their gate. We don't know how to protect our gate. So it says the gates thereof language keep going. They are black. They are what? Black. They are what? Black. They white. Black. They a little shade of brown. Black. Keep going. Onto the ground. When you dig up the ground, like we not this color black. But when you dig up the ground or you dig up the earth, it's many shades of brown. So you're gonna get a cat like me, like you shall I y'all at? Shall I y'all? Or you're gonna get a brother dark like that brother. But we all black. And another term for that term black is our condition. The condition that we in is black. We are not any other color but black. You go in your home and your father ain't there, you black unto the ground. Your mama ain't there, you black unto the ground. You can't kick that weed habit because the white man said it's legal now. You black unto the ground. You out there sipping syrup, you black unto the ground. You live an alternative lifestyle, you black unto the ground. You do anything that is a detriment to the black community, you are black unto the ground. Keep going. And the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. That's the only thing we got in common, excuse me, that we got in common. We cry every day when you wake up, when you wake up in the morning, Playing basketball ain't on your mind. Having a drink of water ain't on your mind. What you gonna eat ain't on your mind. You know what's on your mind? I'm gonna pay these bills. That's right. That's what's on your mind. You wake up with, I got this rent to pay. I got this car note to pay. I got all of this to pay. How am I gonna pay it today? That's your whole life. You going to sleep to get rest from the stress. You're not going to sleep 
because you had a good day. You know, you chilled out with your wife, you know what I mean? Saw a little movie, and then you come home and get, you going to sleep, because if you don't sleep, you'll stress all day. The cry come up. If we don't repent and serve the most high, we'll never stop crying. I don't let nobody tell you cry. You know why? Because I never saw you before, but you are back in the house. Now I'm going to make you cry. I'm My whole life was trying to find something to follow. Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow. Felt pain. And a lot of sorrow got betrayed, so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke. Living confused, about to lose hope. Cops got me on the side of the road, like a sideshow. Need an antidote before I croak. Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues, call this guitar smoke. Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction. The world got me vexed. Picked up a bad lick, a habit that's hereditary from oppression. Felt like my life was on fire, trying to find an exit. Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck. Sometimes a follower is a soldier, trying to find a good ship. Plus, when you in hell, how do you excel? With them, the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell. No call it can cause pain. Something that a rebel knows very well. Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord?